Hey folks, this is Mr. Walsh here and we are on target D12 and that says I can divide a three digit by a one digit, so a three digit by a one digit with a remainder this time. So let's jump right in here. I have my steps here. Dirty monkey smell bad. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. As a reminder, you can back up in some of the earlier targets to make sure to ensure that you understand um, why those steps work the way they do. All right. So first thing, does nine go into three? It does not, but it will go into 31. Let's take a look. Um, 9 goes into 36, too big, so let's back it up to 27. 9 goes into 27 three times, so I'm going to put that 3. Since 9 did not go into 3, it went into the 31. I'm going to put the 3 right on above that 1. So 3 times 9 is 27. Now we need to subtract. So I cannot take 7 from 1. So I'm going to come over and borrow from my tens column. That's going to decrease that to a 2 and it's going to bring that 10 over to the 1's column, making that 11. That 110 comes over to the 1 and makes that 11. So 7 from, a se from 11, or 11, from, excuse me, 11 minus 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we would have 4 left over. 2 from 2 is 0, so I'm going to leave that. So now I'm going to bring down my 7. So 9 goes into 47. Let's see here. 9 goes into 47. 9 goes into 45. 9 goes into 54. 54 is too big, so I'm going to back up to 45. 9 goes into 45 five times, so I'm going to put a 5 up here. And I'm going to multiply. 5 times 9 is 45. And then I'm going to subtract. 5 from 7, I can do that. 2. 4 from 4 is 0. Nothing to bring down, so we're going to call this a remainder 2. All right, let's go do a second problem. We'll do 279 divided by 6. 6 will not go into 2. 6 will go into 27. 6 goes into 27. Well, there's a 30 too big. Let's back it up to 24. 6 goes into 24 four times. I'm going to put a 4 there. And I'm going to multiply next. 4 times 6 is 24. Subtract 4 from 7. I get 3. 2 from 2 is 0. I'm going to br bring down now my 9. So 6 goes into 39. How many times? Let's see here. 6 goes into 42. That's too big. Back it down to 36. 6 goes into 36 six times. So we can say the 6 would go right here. So therefore, 6 times 6 is 36. Subtract 6 from 9 is 3. And so we have a remainder 3. All right. Uh, continue working on that worksheet and um, have fun and work hard.